Hello, it's the second episode of Tea Times Valentine's Day special with Sally and Owen Dadzi. And my co anchors are still very ready to fire away with their questions. Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshoke. What's up? How you doing? Great, you? Are you ready to answer the questions? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> we're ready. So, okay. <laughs> so, I'm sure a lot of people will be like, okay, they caught it for so long and they've been married for quite a while. So, they want to know how did you guys meet? We met in school. Mm. University. University of Abuja. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to like, emphasize that? Primary school. Or school. <laughs> um, we're in the same club. It was an entertainment club. Um, he was he was popular with the ladies. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he was always the one man. chick or the other. <laughs> and I always wanted to talk to him because I found him interesting. So I got the chance. We had the show coming up, and he was selling tapes for Six Foot Plus. Mm. And I was coming from school, I walked up to him, and he had this amazing thing to say, oh, look at your legs, they're so hot. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. So I bought the tape, and there was change, and I told him to keep the change. And okay. that was... Investing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was investing. That was noticed. started everything. Yeah, yeah. So I should notice, and mm. I did notice. So... Would you say that that blew your mind away and that was what attracted you to her? I wasn't blown away at mm. first, but I think it was after I had met her over and over mm. and got to understand what was going on up mm. there because I t I'm attracted to intelligent women. Mm. Yeah, so she's extremely intelligent and mm. that was it. That was the hook. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What about you? What was the hook? Apart from the fact that it was popular with the ladies, obviously. <laughs> oh, the fact that we could talk. Mm. I was in a relationship then, and that guy was oh. boring. It yeah. was wow. She actually left him and came to sit with me. So, wow. Yeah, yeah, it was that kind of so thing. So we could talk. First, first time we sat down together, we talked from like 7 to like 3, 4 a.m. And there was nothing boring, you know. He made me laugh. Mm. He, it was it was fun to be with him. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what your favorite love song should be for now? What? She won't break up with a ball buck. <laughs> Very true. How do you spice things up? Because it's 18 years, right? Yeah. So how do you just keep the fire burning? I play hard to get. Mm. Mm. Most times, <laughs> you know, I, I play like boyfriend, and sometimes she plays like the girlfriend, and we tend to woo each other. We we hold on to our old traditions, and you know, she calls me every day when I'm at work, mm. and tells me about her day. Mm. Uh, we start to talk about everything I've experienced. It's a, it's about communication and understanding. You know, communication is just one aspect, but if you have understanding in everything your partner says mm. and you're listening. Uh, Get the woman now. Mm. <laughs> so that, that's to spice it up. You could do anything, but at least you should communicate and have a better understanding for each okay. other. Okay. You you mentioned um, earlier that you know the first time you spoke, uh, you talked forever, and I, I identify with that. When I first met um, my now fiance, it was the same thing. Like almost like you feel like you've known each other before. Mm -hmm. yes. Before then, um, if that doesn't happen, um, do you think you can still find love from that? Um, so like you know how like you can have an instant connection, right. instant mm -hmm. chemistry like mm -hmm. you did and some yeah. people do but if you don't have that because I know people will complain that I didn't really feel anything you know mm -hmm. but would you encourage that but person it's just to time to marry <laughs> <laughs> um, would you would you encourage somebody to keep on like trying to like I guess nurture that um, that, that, that need. Yes, mm -hmm. and then maybe it, it would manifest. Or do you believe in love at first sight, yeah. connections on the, and on the spot? That, or some people who said it just starts at first. Mm -hmm. like, yes. it, started, it took them two years before mm -hmm. they got to that point. Mm -hmm. yes. So what do you think? Well, I feel like, like I said earlier, um, it's, um, it's nobody's love language mm. is the same. Nobody's mm. love story is the same. So um, for some people, it grows. Mm. And then some people don't get to talk maybe as much as we do, but they have their own way of communicating, yeah. you know, with each other and understanding each other. Um, I feel, first of all, that people should get out of the textbook of what mm. has no. been purported to yeah. be love. Yeah. You know, just do what works for them, just do what works between them. Mm. Yes. And that helps a lot. Um, so I'll ask you because 
you mentioned you guys mentioned this feminism in there and already that kind of like goes with the vibe of you guys not being traditional or mm -hmm. you know doing the stereotypical things how do you keep your individuality in the relationship like you've been you've been together for a long time you've probably changed in front of him i mean involved not just mm. like physical change um involved and change and all of that stuff how do yeah. you keep your individualities and still like not sure this marriage well i encourage her to be an individual to stand out so Sorry, before you go on, I don't know if you guys have noticed that he knows when he's asking the question why she yeah. just does this. Yeah, she knows <laughs> it's 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 psychological. Yeah. It's your turn. <laughs> Baby, that's yours. So, so, um, so, what was I saying? <laughs> so, we know each other, so it's, it's easy for us to understand each other, you know? So, it's not... Um, it's not rocket science. Mm. You get when you, when you overthink it. Uh, I I want her to be someone. When 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 I first met her, when I read her work because she's a writer, mm. uh, I didn't know she was really good at it. But I encouraged it. I it's it's about trying to make the best out of your partner. Mm. You you see the raw material there. It's not for you to change it, but to make it better. Mm. Uh, but not by bringing anything of mine, but what she has already, mm. and she. She's a perfect individual. Okay. Right. So, so a lot of people uh, I you have like a follow up to that. You know, people say change is constant. Yeah. Mm. So um, you meet a person, this mm. is the version of them you knew, and then when you get married, they tell you this person changed. Mm. Yes. And it's not necessarily that it became a bad person, but you're seeing the truth that you, you know, mm. just mm. difference. And I want to believe that Evolve. you have evolved, she has evolved. Mm. So when that change hits you, mm. how do you handle it? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but as you said, change is constant mm. and it's something you should get used to. And I don't usually get surprised by change. I just adapt. Mm. You get. And if it's change for good, then you, you don't have many things to do. But if it's change for bad, then, then you would start to rethink your situation and probably yourself. Mm. You know, because sometimes the change starts from you before it starts with the other person. So it's an internal thing before you start to think exterior. Mm. Do you think? Do yeah. you think about? Sorry, I'm not lying to ask. Um, do you ever think about therapy, even being long in this relationship, just to have somebody else come into the picture for any reason? You, it doesn't have to be a problem, but do you? <laughs> is that a thing for your? Not for him. He, he's not. <laughs> he's a therapist. I, I, um, yeah, I've thought about it. We've mm. had issues, and I yeah. felt like, oh, we should bring somebody in and all of that and he's always been like no we can you know we can handle anyway, this mm. we can solve this and everything me i grew up in my dad is a pastor so i'm used to seeing couples come and mm. you know speak to him and all that so it was my thing and then um to him he always felt like we could Fix work them. you know mm. things out and um so far we've not had um, somebody stepping in mm. Mm. because we always work things out no matter how difficult, difficult mm. or tough um, I've had cases where I've spoken to somebody like mm. okay I have this issue and all that with my yeah. husband can you advise people mm. I can trust yeah yeah, yeah. I don't know about you do no, 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 no. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah but we've been able to work things okay out. so I'm um, thank God to do follow-up questions because they're kind of a uh, ask the question because um, people watching you guys now will be like, ah, they don't fight. They seem so mm. perfect together. <laughs> but obviously, <laughs> from what you said, mm. you guys have had issues mm. and all of that. So what's the longest period you've stayed mad at each other? Have you ever gone to bed mad at each other before? Oh, many times. <laughs> so where do you sleep when you're mad I, and where do you I, sleep? I stay in the living room while she's in the room. <laughs> you know, couples always have, you, it's, there's conflict in mm. any mm. kind of relationship, but it's a matter of knowing that that conflict cannot bring you apart mm. but make you understand yourselves better mm. Mm. so how long have you guys had your, your longest quarrel ever? one day mm. one, it's yeah. never passed yeah, we, the day never mm. passed Great. the next day yeah. so we, we just hash things so out how do you make so it up <laughs> how do you make up either cook a meal mm. Oh, we do the naughty naughty, mm. or it could be just say with that child was like, like big head, your food is ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. okay. So, you two have the strong bond, but do you have the best team? Because mm. we had, the, we were supposed to have this conversation yesterday, mm. but time did not mm. permit. So there was a tweet. I, I can't remember who said it now, but he was saying something. An actress. It was it an actress. Yes. She was saying something around. 
um, it's disrespectful for you to have a best friend when you're married. So it's there's more to disrespect to your spouse yeah, when you have, have a best, best friend, friend of the opposite, opposite sex. sex. Oh. So I'll try disrespect. Do you believe that? Do you, do you agree to that? No, yeah, I, I don't. I don't agree. Mm. Agree to that. I don't believe it's disrespectful. No, it's not. Mm. Does do you have a best friend of the yes. opposite sex? No. Oh yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have friends. I have girlfriends. I have more girlfriends than I have guy friends. Mm. Obviously, but, but they're not best friends. They're not best friends. Okay. Best friends takes a lot. Trust. Who's your best friend? You're looking at her. <laughs> Just the answer I was waiting for. You're looking at her. Best friends, when you say best friends, someone who you could bring into your circle, into mm. your aura, mm. into your secrets. She knows everything about her. Mm. I know everything about her. Every dirty secret, everything that mm. you would say, okay, I'm leaving this relationship. I know everything. Mm. But I, I don't judge mm. because I tend to put myself in her shoes. You know, so it's always a reciprocal kind of, you know, relationship. So, do you have a friend, a girlfriend in your life that she isn't close to? Many. <laughs> I wish you guys were on the table. Thank you. Many. How do you feel about that? Oh, nothing. Is he has a life? She was asking mm. about individuality. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. it's it's part of that. Mm. We have. We have our relationship, and then we have our individual lives. Right. I also have guy friends and all that. So um, we don't, we're not the couple that goes to each other's phones. Mm. I know her password. We have, he knows my password. Mm -hmm. I know his and, and all of that. So you but see we don't everything go. I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we do. But it's not a snooping thing. No. Mm. There's trust. trust. Yeah. There's trust. Go deadly, go deadly. <laughs> do you get suspicious? No, no, uh, no, okay. no. There was a time I would have said yes, okay. but as you grow with each other, you yeah, begin to understand the person yeah. better. Mm. Yeah, it's those are like mm. trivial things for us mm. now. Mm. Those are like yeah. yeah. Okay, so because tea time is an entertainment show, we have something for you which um, speaks to the test, the state of love, relationships, and marriages in the entertainment industry. Have a look. Relationships and marriages in Nigeria's entertainment industry is believed to be non-existent or have very slim chances of succeeding. Some people in the entertainment industry question why their colleagues still get married as they believe marriage is not for entertainers. However, in this season of love, we turned our radar to the entertainment industry and we were able to find a reasonable number of happily married couples. So to prove to you that long-lasting love exists in that space, here are 10 couples that are actively active in the industry and are still married. Omotola Jolade Ekeinde and Captain Matthew Ekeinde have been married for over 20 years and blessed with four children. I believe we can gladly echo on their behalf till death do us part. Do you believe in yourself enough to know that you can bounce back? I want to thank you guys for always being there for me, for believing in me and knowing that I could also fall in love with the wrong man. Fondly called Nollywood couples, Olu Jacobs and Joker Silver have been married for over 30 years and blessed with two children. The entertainers met in 1981 at the National Theatre Igomu, Lagos, Nigeria. How old were you in 1981? Shh, don't tell me. Now, when I ask Sir Jay a question, before I get an answer, I would have finished breakfast or lunch or supper laid the table before an answer comes and that has happened since day one drives me <clears throat> yes you <laughs> ah. yes what about you what i said what about you what now we get invited somewhere okay and the invitation is sent to us yes you see them you yes. keep them and I don't hear or know anything until the day before the event. Is that so? <laughs> you know, I think what happens is that in my head, I, you know, when I see it in my head, I've told you, do you understand?
At number three is Nobeth and Gloria Young, fondly called the Youngs. This very unassuming couple have been married for over 15 years. They're proud parents of three beautiful kids. Despite several rumors, they keep growing strong and stood the test of time. This not-so-young couples give us joy. I love Mary Pat. I love her. I wouldn't let anything happen to her. Nollywood star comedic actor Odunlade Adekola is happily married to his wife, Ruth. She is said to be a committed Christ Apostolic Church member and the prayer warrior of the family. They have been married for over 15 years and are blessed with four boys. <laughs> Next at number five, Razak Olaiwola and Moji Afolayan. Moji was born into an acting family. She is the first daughter of the late veteran actor and producer Adilov. Her husband, Razak, is popularly known as Ojo Pagogo by fans of Yoruba movies. The couple met on the job over a decade ago and has since been married. <laughs> Mary Nina Njoko and Jason Njoko. Mary is a Nigerian actress, film producer, and the director general of the award-winning Lagos-based film house Rock Studio. Her husband, Jason, is a British-born Nigerian entrepreneur and African startup investor. Mary's Rock Studio has produced over 1,000 movies and more than 25 original series. She married her husband in 2012 and have since been couple goals for many. Thank you. Sorry, do I know you? Because I can't remember. In your mind, I don't know you. Always fresh out of the box and living in bondage sequel sweethearts, Ramsey Noir and his wife, Emilia, have been married for over a decade and they are blessed with three kids. Their relationship is highly off the media that we sometimes begin to doubt their existence. But yeah, they're very much happily married. The couple have two sons and a daughter. You cannot share with your counterpart. We have each other now. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Opness is the sugar daddy goes, as he is fondly called, of the entertainment industry, Richard and Jumobi Mufedamijo. The ace actor have been married to the former television presenter for 19 years. They are proud parents of five children. Uh, I'm sure my boss didn't mean any harm. <laughs> the boys didn't mean any harm. At number nine is Stephanie Okereke and husband Linus Idahusa. Stephanie is a Nigerian actress, director, model, and the founder of the Extended Hands Foundation, a non-profit organization which helps facilitate free treatment for women and girls with obstetric fistula. Her husband, Linus, is a media consultant, an accredited agent of CNN in Nigeria, and the founder and CEO of Del York International. The fairy tale like wedding took place in April 2020. 12, somewhere in France, and they're blessed with a son. Why do you come here every Thursday? I guess I'm supposed to be talking to a shrink. And to top it all is Charles and Diana Oputa. Charles, popularly known as Charlie Boy, is not so much of a boy as he has been married to his beautiful wife for over 40 years. His controversial personality has left people wondering how the Our Mumu Don't Do convener has managed to stay married this long. Aria Fada is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, television presenter, publisher, producer, and one of Nigeria's most controversial entertainers. So, <laughs> what do you think about celebrity marriages first? <laughs> it's, it's a template. Oh, wow. That's, that's all I Templates see. Templates for? Uh, depending on which template you choose mm -hmm. to work with. But I'm saying don't follow anyone's template. It's, mm -hmm. it's difficult to, you know even follow such templates. But it's important to use that as a guiding principle, mm. you know, that people can stay for 40 years, 10 years, but it's for you to just put your own out there and see what you can do for yourself. But do you think having your relationship in the public um, light mm. kinds of mars a good relationship? Well, if you're looking for vindication from the public, it's going to be very difficult mm. to do that. So mm. you're going to get lots of negative you know, outputs and feedback, and it's, it won't really make you concentrate on your relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's important that if you're bringing it out in public and you're trying to show 
your, the one you love, how much you love the person good enough, but it shouldn't be something that you need vindication from the public mm. because mm. you can get what you want from the public. Mm. Right. If you just make take that on a smaller scale, mm. um, I kind of already have an answer from you because it seemed like a lot more reserved, but how much of yourselves do you share with your, your public? Obviously, you're not celebrities in that sense, but in your own, your own little public, like your friends and family, how much information do you share with each other? And what is, what would you <laughs> consider being like, you know, too Probably. much? Or like, you know, and I'm talking about sex and arguments or even like good things that he, you know, he does. And so what is, what is your boundary? What does it look like? He doesn't share anything at all. <laughs> he doesn't share anything. I do all the sharing, but <laughs> not so much. Mm. Not very little. And not because um, I'm trying to avoid anything of the sort, I don't share pictures as well, <laughs> as much mm. you get. So it's just a personal thing. Mm. And um, I really don't have issues with um, people sharing their, their love lives and stuff online. It's their life, you know. Mm. I'm a live and let live, but we're adults. Mm. So just know that as you're putting it out there, you have to have the backbone for it. Mm. Something, there's always consequence, mm. you know. It could be smooth sailing today, tomorrow, mm. you know. Mm. Everybody will turn against you. So just know that as you're doing it, you should be ready for, for what, what comes. comes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that reminds me of what um, Pete Iduche said recently hmm. about proposals. Yeah. So he was saying that <laughs> it is wrong for a man to go down on his knees to <laughs> propose to a woman, saying mm. it's not part of our culture. And that you um, just made a not, diet of that. House. Yeah, once you do that, you handed over your authority to her. Okay. <laughs> 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 that's, that's one way of looking at it. Okay. Uh, but it's just a Western idea, the kneeling. I, I didn't think. Eastern to be precise. Uh, is it Eastern? Yeah, I think Eastern, it's Eastern Western. Okay, because Eastern. he believes um, that's, he went, that's from the Igbo. No, culture. he's talking about, he's talking about the, the kneeling down. The kneeling, kneeling the down and given. You know, but for us, like we, I didn't propose to her to eat. I'm a rebel, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I tend to do things a lot different. Mm. So I, I kept on telling her, you don't say you go marry me, but <laughs> <laughs> you know you're my wife until I did it. Mm -hmm. you know? so, so how did you do it? How did I do what? Get I married propose. to? Propose. I didn't propose per se. Just I just kept on saying it. So how did she get the ring? <laughs> <laughs> There was no ring. Mm. No, we there don't. was no there was no ring. Wow. Yeah, no, we, we don't just had rings on our wedding day and well yeah, that was they're it. not there. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, those, those things are symbols. Yeah. Yeah. But when you hold on to those yeah. symbols, they are so weak. Mm. You know, what, what what we hold on to is the love we feel for each other, mm. what we can do for each other, yeah. you know, mm. rather than a symbol or a ring or anything of that sort. Mm. Yeah. I, I also, I'm not a diamond girl, I think it's a scam as well. I think people <laughs> just dog up stuff and figure it out. Mm. We don't know what to do with these things and then mm. they put a lot of pressure. So I already mentioned that I just want something simple. Um, but I got a lot of backlash. Like, and I, It was interesting for you to say, when you put it out, they make sure you have the backbone for mm. that. Because I know Nigerian, it's a different community here where a lot of love is equal to material so it's mm -hmm. like uh you know there's a lot of backlash from that but i wanted to ask how you stand your ground in being so different from the rest because i'm sure you have couples as friends that are more um traditional, traditional. and it's not like i'm not saying that there's something um wrong, wrong with that it's just mm -hmm. a different route but how do you manage that type of because there will be conflict if you're so different from from that like pretty much like a fish out of water so how do you manage that without coming across as condescending or like you feel like you're better or people just don't understand you oh no we we pick our friends um this thing of us being here and being different mm -hmm. has been a lifelong you know, journey. journey. Mm. So um, I, I was a rebel, as I said, just like him. So like right now, my parents just know that this one, just forget this one. <laughs> and then our friends know. Yeah. So we have, we, we pick our friends, mm. not based on how they treat people. So we have friends that are understanding that mm. just take you the way. Are rebels you, like us. Yeah, mm. the way you are. So, so we have friends that do don't. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 not, not like that. that. <laughs> not like that. We have friends who are very traditional. True, yes. You know, with everything, but it's they understand us. We understand mm. them, mm -hmm. and 
That's Everything is cool. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 I know you have a lot. Me too. I don't go on. Sorry. Okay. Well, we are moving to our game. Okay. okay. <laughs> After <laughs> the show. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this challenge started from TikTok and it's called Put a Finger Down Challenge. It's um, it's Valentine, so let's have some fun, right? Okay. okay. We all know what the game is, right? Yes. So mm. something yeah. is read out, and if you've done it, you put a finger down. Okay. Are we ready? We're ready. So okay. Yeah. Put your hands up. Uh, Put a finger down if you've ever kissed over five people. Put a finger down if you've ever said sorry to your partner, even though it's not your fault. Put a finger down if you've ever been arrested. Put a finger down if you have a tattoo. Put a finger down if you've ever been cheated on. Put a finger down if you've ever cheated. Put a finger down if you ever failed a class. Put. Okay, how many fingers do you still have? Oh, I still have. I have like seven. I'm such a good girl. If I, where's your hand? <laughs> I just four. I have five. I have five. Okay. Six. Okay. okay so it wasn't that guy. bad, right? Doesn't so you, you have, you've done everything. No, no, no. Oh, okay, do you feel the class? I feel the class, of course, <laughs> but I've never been cheated on. No, he's like, no. how do you I'm know? I've been arrested. Well, not that I know of. <laughs> Not that I know of. Okay. When you so. say cheating, do you mean like physical, emotional, oh, or No, no, you're going into <laughs> nitty gritty. So thank you so much for spending Valentine's Day. Thank you. Sorry, before this. you go, was there anything she put a finger down for that you just found out today? No. Mm -hmm. How about you? He already said he knows everything. Mm -hmm. No, no. nothing. No. Okay. Uh, we just want to make sure that when you're driving, like, <laughs> <laughs> so you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how we wrap up this special edition of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Arosu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, go to my co anchors, Ife Oluwa Shunkeye, Ife Omai, the entire production team, and of course, our guest, Sally and Owen. Thank you so much for being here. Pleasure. Thank you for my name is Elsie Godwin. Do share love this season. <laughs>